All right, folks, what is up? How is everybody doing? I hope you're having a great day into this month. I hope you've been crushing it. I hope you're chasing that goal towards the end of the year, one step at a time. And I hope you've got your products lined up and ready and you know you're ready to start your discussions with your suppliers as soon as they are back online after the vacation i think by the time i'm releasing this video they should be back online well uh, in this video i'm going to actually talk to you about five 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 simple things that you must not miss during launch and trust me guys trust me when i say this seven out of ten people who are launching their products do not do these five things and that is why you fail don't miss a bit Before we get into the video, let me announce the winner for the free call with me. Uh, hit me up on Instagram or on my Facebook page. Hit me up on my Facebook page and we can set this up. Now, if you want to win a one-on-one -on -one call with me, just ensure that you just have to do these simple things. One, subscribe, turn on that notification bell and drop me a comment down below. If you have a question, drop me a question or if you don't have a question, just say hello because I'm always happy to know who's watching and give me a good feedback about the video or any other video you, you've been watching all right and that is how you win a one-on-one -on -one call with me because now i'm gonna be having much less time in the future so there's there are only two ways you can get on a call with me one you either win it through this option or you simply uh go in order for a call uh, and I, I i would put a link down below if, if it's already there just click on the link so if you want to book a consultation call with me but trust me that is a very 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 quick way for you to accelerate your journey by having a discussion with me so yeah uh, i think it's it has immense value i've been talking to a lot of people over the last couple of weeks and i think i'm giving an, an immense value over the calls so yeah consider consider it all right anyways let's get into the video so the number one point that you should not miss when you're launching a product is setting up a review group now what does that mean well it's very simple and i've actually talked about this a lot uh, on one on one when i'm talking to people and also in a couple of different videos on my channel so you can make sure you check them out right so what i mean by setting up a review group is basically setting up people who are interested in buying your product even before you go to launch even before your product goes live now, how can you find these people? Well, number one, you can basically find these people in your friend network, okay? And you can find you find these people in your relative, within your relatives and family members. And if not, you can actually join the groups on Facebook uh, where your target customer is there. And you can probably, you know, convince a few of them to join your private review group. This is a private review group that you'll be creating on Facebook just for the sake of launch and just for the sake of getting those first five reviews. Now, if you want to understand what I'm saying in depth, check out this video because I had talked about this exact strategy in this video. So after you've gone through all the five points in this video, go and check that video out. All right guys, so the number two and the most important step a lot of beginners tend to miss or just avoid because it's just too tedious to do that is setting up your email sequence. Now. I want you all to think of this as a step that you cannot miss because if you are not asking for reviews from your buyers, from your customers on Amazon, they're not going to review it. Now I've got an email sequence, even after sending emails, I've, my review rate is about two to 3% of my orders. So only two to 3% of my orders ever get reviews. Imagine if I had not been sending those emails, that number would be down to one or 0%. All right, so that's scary, right? I want you all to set up your email sequence and not email sequence. Now, for those of you who are skeptical, let me tell you a number. All right, I've got 30% plus open rate on my emails. All right, 30% is a very good open rate. Now, Amazon customers are eagerly waiting for their product updates. So when they get an email from Amazon, when they get an email from their seller, they are going to open it. All right. So don't don't listen to the myth that email is not the great way. Email is, is not going to work. All that bullshit. It is going to work. So set up those email sequences. And now again, I have an in-depth video about how do you set your email sequences? What do you write in those email sequences? Which tool do you need to use? Everything in this video. So you check it out after you watch this video. 
All right, guys. Now the third most important thing, which is something again a lot of people miss, and I don't understand why do they miss it. The third point, the third thing that you should not miss before your product goes live on Amazon is listing optimization. All right. What does it mean? You need to have your images done right. You need to have all of those nine images first of all in place, and you need to ensure that the first six images are done right, and you also need to ensure that you are communicating to your customer via your images now you need if you need, if you want to understand more of that again i've got a video for that right here and check it out once you finish this video also ensure that you have the right keywords in your title you have the right keywords in your bullet points you have the right keywords in your description all right ensure all of them is all of them are perfectly done as best as you possibly could if you need help for that get help if you need me to review your product get me on a call and i will do that review for you but please don't miss that step it is very important because the day you start spending on advertisements the day you start spending on paid traffic to get uh, customers to your listing and if you don't have your listing optimized your indexing won't work right if you don't have your listing optimized your automatic campaigns will not work the way you expect it to work so if you want your campaigns to perform well and if you want conversions you need to ensure that your listing optimization is done right all right guys now coming to the fourth point fourth step that you should not miss and this is actually very much relevant to the previous step so if you're doing your listing optimization this step is already being taken care of to a great extent remember that you don't have to start from scratch the fourth point is basically you need to identify your ppc keywords for your listing even before you launch your product now of course everybody tells you that start your automatic campaign let it run for a few days pull down the report and then you would understand which keywords are working for you oh voila well that is magic no well it is an advantage that you're getting out of your automatic campaign it's a leverage that your auto automatic campaign gives you but even before you launch oh i mean even before you go live you would have done a lot of keyword research already you would have understood uh, who's your target customer what are they searching for amazon what are their likes and dislikes so even before your product goes live you will you should definitely have a list of keywords which you start bidding on through manual ad campaigns on day one now i understand that i have a, i have very few videos about ppc optimization and manual ppc campaigns on my channel so if that's something that you want on my channel if, you, if that's something that you want me to teach more about let me know down below in the comments just write the word ppc and i will get an idea how much of you are interested in learning more about ppc all right guys we have made our way to the last point of, and the last step but again the catch over here is that the last step is the most important step and this is something that 9 out of 10 sellers who are starting their amazon business who are starting to sell on amazon miss all right and i don't want any one of you any one of you who's watching it any one of you i don't want you to miss this step all right it's very simple you don't have to think loud you don't have to you be super creative to do that it is the simplest thing that you need to do but you need to ensure that you do that promise me will you promise me okay once you promise me i'm going to tell you what it is all right well i'm going to tell you anyways because i want you all to benefit from this all right my channel is about value 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 and i don't want to waste any of your time all right the fifth point the fifth step that you should not miss at any cost is setting up your social media accounts on facebook on instagram and maybe on youtube as well if that makes sense for your brand but ensure that you have your social media accounts on facebook and and instagram and even before you launch try creating some content over there the best way or the simplest way to create content over there is just to uh, repurpose your listing images and product images and keep posting them on instagram keep posting them on your facebook page so that you have some content on day 0 of your launch you don't want people discovering your brand coming to your uh, social media pages and not being able to tell where exactly should they go now or what do what do they need to take away from that account right so that was the fifth point now i'm going to go much in depth about social media hacks the way you need to manage your social media accounts or grow your social media accounts for amazon so for that you need to subscribe to my channel because i'm going to be i'm going to be creating a lot more content around that all right then folks those are the five important steps that you should not miss at any cost even if your life is at stake if you are going to sell on amazon 
do not miss any of these steps all right that's the best i can tell you that's the best i can uh, advise you guys and then at the end it's all up to you all right well uh, again like if you want to win a call do whatever i told you to do also if you have enjoyed this video and got any, any value out of it hit that thumbs up because it really helps and share it with people who are going to benefit from this as well all right thank you so much i will see you next time